the case study model can be downloaded from Artec 3D. So this is a rescue helicopter. And the file is uh, roughly 246 megabytes. So let's see how well can Blender import the 3D model and also compare that to 3ds Max. In order to see the uh, resources, I've opened the resource monitor over here and we see that currently Chrome uh, has 140 megabytes and I'm gonna start the interactive model so this will be available on Sketchfab. And we see that currently the model is loaded within the WebGL player. And it requires around, let's say, one gigabyte of RAM memory in order to have it open within the viewport. Okay, now let's test the, the software. Initially, I'm going to start Blender. So I'm going to go for Blender. File import. The file format for this one is Wavefront OBJ. And I'm going to go in Downloads, and I already have that model downloaded today over here. Okay, now while Blender is importing that, I'm going to monitor the resource, and we see that it's already taking a lot more uh, RAM memory than uh, Sketchfab with Chrome, with WebGL. Before I started to record this video, I did, did some testing. I tried opening um, directly with the Blender without the Chrome. But for some reason, um, it didn't manage to load the model. I think it uh, reached the cap uh, of 16 gigabytes of RAM. So let's take a look at uh, this. So there is still uh, some available memory over here, as we can see from the total. I'm also going to open the specification for this. So it's an i7 fifth generation with 16 gigabytes of uh, memory so there are four memory slots used and an nvidia 970 so as you can see blender has already reached uh, past 8 gigabytes of RAM while trying to load this model. And if I will go on the CPU, I will see that Blender is currently not responding. If I will try to click within the bl Blender, I will see that it's slowly struggling to open that. And if I will jump back to, to the memory, we're going to see that has reached close to 10 gigabytes of RAM. I'm also going to close Chrome in order to free that memory. I will put the download um, link within the description of the video. So feel free to, to test using the same model. For now, I'm going to close this in order to free up some uh, memory. There is still some memory also on standby. So once all the Chrome sessions will be ended, those should also be cleared. But we see that Blender already uses 14 gigabytes trying to open this large 
large model. I'm gonna wait a bit and see if um, there will be some uh, modify memory and if Blender will be able to open it. Before I start recording this, I let the computer process and it slowly managed to open the model in Blender also. I'm trying to see if I can replicate that now. But still, this is quite a long time. I already see that the video is past five minutes in. It's still slowly loading. I also try to replicate this on another computer with more RAM and see if this is an issue. What I find it really odd is that if I try to start 3ds Max now and I will start the import uh, for the same model, it will only use less than half of, uh, of the RAM memory in order to open the model. So let's take a look at that also. So I use 3ds Max uh, 2024. As we can see, 3ds Max is slowly taking from uh, from Blender RAM memory now, as it also slowly starts up. This is one of the main, let's say, drawbacks of 3ds Max that it uh, takes quite a lot of time to get it, let's say, running with everything. In comparison with Blender, which runs almost instantly as you as you start it. Okay, we see that both programs are still not responding, but now we have that loading screen from 3ds Max, and I have the possibility to start importing the same model. So I have the model open over here. I can drag and drop it within Max. And I'm gonna open the resource monitor and we're gonna see how it will slowly start loading that model. We also have the import dialog active already. So we see the total number of vertices for this 3D scan helicopter. Also the RAM, so Blender uses 17 gigabytes now and 3ds max only reach let's say less than four okay we see that currently within the 3ds max importing we have the invalidating edge list and we already reach five, even six uh, gigabyte of RAM. And we have the model loaded. So the import dialog is no longer active. We see within the hierarchy those. So we see the mesh of the helicopter and we already have the possibility to position the model with the mouse cursor. So I'm just gonna position it over here. If I'm gonna go with uh, Z in order to zoom on that and I'm gonna zero zero this. I'm also gonna press 7 in order to see the total polygons and vertices and we see the current frame rate for this so it's quite decent. I'm also gonna rotate the helicopter 90 degrees since the Y and Z axis were flipped. And I already have the possibility to start working with the mesh. In some cases, the frame rate drops quite low. We also see this inactive, but overall, when I try to pan the object, it will respond. If I will try to rotate it, now it lagged a bit, but after a while, 
I'm able to do that. And if I jump within Blender, I see that Blender is still struggling to have that open. I'm going to bring up the Resource Manager. So we see that it's currently trying to use the local cache in order to supplement that RAM memory. But still, the software is not responding to that. While in TDS Max, I already have the possibility to go with Edit Mesh. By pressing 5, I can either select some meshes, but there is still a slight uh, delay. And I have the possibilities to select, uh, for example, polygons. I can do a rectangle selection. It will slowly select that. I can subtract from it by holding Alt, and I will be able to do that. So it's, let's say, workable using this if, if you want to work on the mesh, split some, some elements. Okay, at the same time, I see that Blender is still not loading this. I will close 3ds Max and I will leave Blender a few more minutes to see if it will manage to have that open. I will also close this and only keep the resource monitor up. So we see that 3ds Max already cleared the RAM memory, also Chrome and the other software. 3ds Max still uh, is over here, but it's already grayed out, so that should mean that the memory has been cleared. I also did a test between uh, STL files import in Blender in 3ds Max. Since Autodesk stated that, okay, so Blender managed to, to open this. I'm going to try to zoom out. I will see that the clipping planes are, um, they need to be adjusted. So for that, I'm going to press N to show the side panel. And within the view, I'm going to go for the end for a higher value, 50,000 meters. So the model is not at uh, the true scale. If I need to put uh, the end clipping plane to be that high, but nevertheless, we have the 3D model loaded. But if I'm going to check the resource, uh, I see that also Blender, after it starts to import, clear the out of the memory. But still, it was way slower than uh, than 3ds Max when importing OBJ, at least on on this setup. But we see that the model has quite uh, quite a lot of details. If I'm gonna go on wireframe over here, it takes quite a while to show that. But we're gonna see that the mesh is really dense on this this model. Okay, so I hope you find this this kind of video useful regarding the processing capabilities when importing various 3D formats, either within uh, Blender or 3ds Max. I'm also going to rotate this and we see that it's quite stable, so I can snap it to 90 degrees. Again, if I want to zoom, zoom in, zoom out, or rotate, it's quite um, responsive, so there's no no lag once the model has been loaded. Okay, I'm, I'm curious uh, what software are you mostly preferring to open large 3D scan model? If it's Blender, it's 3ds Max, or there are other software solutions that you that you prefer. Let me know in the in the comment section below.